Hey, welcome. This is Tyson Curtis. I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on the Easy Mobile App Creator. It looks like you found it. This is the tool. This is the tool you've been looking for. This is the easiest way that you can create phone apps uh, for any business or for any need that you might have as far as making a phone app. And just you want to do it the easy way. You want to be able to, you know, create an app quickly. You don't want to spend you know, weeks creating an app. And, you know, you don't have to spend weeks trying to figure out how to build an app. This is the easy way. You know, that's why it's called the Easy Mobile App Creator. So we're super excited to have you here. Let's go ahead and get started. So once you get to this page, go down to the bottom of the screen and click on the Start Now. It's a big green button at the very bottom of the screen. Go ahead and click on that Start Now. It's going to take you to a page just like this. And what you're going to do is... Enter your name and email. Okay. Once you do that, you're going to receive an email with some instructions. But foremost, it's going to redirect you to create an account with Easy Mobile App immediately. Select a username. It needs to be all one word. It doesn't have to be your name. You know, it could it could be anything that you choose. This uh, username is going to show up at the end of the Easy Mobile App Creator forward slash uh, link. So this is going to be a part of your Easy Mobile App Creator website that's unique to you. Enter a password. I believe it has to be six uh, digits. Go ahead and put your name. And I'm just putting it, you know any name in here just to bypass this for training purposes. So enter the CAPTCHA and register. And I did something wrong. I got something incorrect here. Oh, incorrect verification. Okay, no biggie. If you put in the wrong verification, you can always put it back in. You know, they give you more than one chance. Okay, I've created my account once I get in here. Now you'll go ahead and start the process. It's super simple. The first step is is to build a free application, build a free phone app. You can actually build as many free apps as you want with the Easy Mobile App Creator just to kind of test everything out. You won't be charged to create um, free apps. So have some fun with it. Um, it's really easy to do. It's a drag and drop editor. So you don't have to be a developer or programmer to do this. What you'll do is you'll start off by selecting a template. Okay, so you'll come back here and you'll select a, a blank template. Uh, background um, you can you know this one right here looks like it might work for um, um, well this one right here is for fashion but, you know this and as you go through these numbers down here in the bottom you'll see it'll open up you know another app these are app templates already done for you and I, I really enjoy these apps because you can actually choose one of these apps that are already kind of done for you and then once you choose it you can do edits you can change the you know the logos and whatnot for the companies so that way you're not building an application, you know, 100% from scratch. This is a fun one here, the taxi cab template. I've actually uh, attempted to build a few of these um, for a friend for her taxi company, um, and it hasn't been that hard to do. Um, I, I selected this. Uh, I'll go ahead and just select this one here, just so I can kind of show you guys. So I'll select a taxi one, and as you can see, it's going to take me to a page like this, where I can choose what device I want to apply this application to on the top of the page you've got iPhone iPad Kindle Android you know web app I'm gonna go ahead and because I have an Android phone I'm just gonna go ahead and select Android really quick and now I've got the I'm, I'm creating a uh, app for Android I selected the template so so far you guys see how easy this is to do next I'm going to choose use this template and then on this screen here, I'm going to go ahead and give this uh, template an ID. I can call it whatever I want to call it, but for training purposes, I'm just going to call this one Taxi Taxi Test. What an application ID is, it's an ID. It's kind of like the social security number for this app that's going to be recognized on Google Play. Um, this ID once you set this it can never be changed okay so make sure you know you, you choose something that you know that you'll remember or something that you really want to use it really doesn't matter because no one's ever going to see this but just letting you know right now once you create this app and link it you cannot change that so go ahead and create this app 
Okay, and once we create that, now we're going to select the device again. It's still set up on uh, the Android app, so I'm going to keep it on the Android app. You can change it to an iPad or iPhone or whatever. But we're going to go ahead and click on Next. The next screen, what we're going to do here is it's going to ask us to configure our new app, the platform. So when you when someone visits your app, there's normally if you if you have a smartphone, you know what I'm talking about. At the bottom of the app, you'll have or on the side of the app, you'll have buttons you can choose. It will navigate you through the app. Um, this is going to give you the option to choose no tabs. Okay, so it'll just be like one image app, very boring. Or you can do like a standard you know app um, where we already have pre-done buttons for you and then you just get to plug in the links to where you want them to go when they click those buttons. Or you can do custom tabs which allows you to upload your own logos and images for the buttons. Okay, For training purposes I'm just going to go ahead and click standard uh, tabs and click next. Now on this page here we can just go ahead and choose you know the background color of the app. So see again no programming needed. You can just kind of choose, you know, what you want your background to be. I'll just go ahead and choose blue. I like blue. You can also change the text color, the font, and whatnot of the uh, app. If you do not like this, uh, you know, this Taxi Cab 99 logo because your friend's business or your business is a taxi company or whatever that you're creating an app for has a different kind of logo, all you have to do is click right here, and you can upload. A brand new image you know from your computer okay you can upload a, a, a image from your computer okay and then that will replace this spot here so it's it's you know just as easy as like uploading like a profile pic on your Facebook or whatnot it's just browse your computer upload it and boom that new image will show so super easy to do you can click on the tabs up here on the top and go through the app process and, and by the time you get to the end you'll be ready to publish this app or you can just simply click the next button here. Again, super easy app to use to build apps, okay? Now, the next step is your app icon. So if you have a smartphone, you know you know what I'm talking about. When you go to, you know, select an application, you know, in the Google Play Store or, or Apple Store or, or wherever, you always see like a little image of the application that makes it stand out. You can change this image, okay? So when you click change, and upload an image, you just upload an image, you know, directly um, from your computer, okay? And just make sure the image is a perfect square image, so like a 48 by 48 or a 99 by 99. And as long as it's a perfectly square image, it'll uh, adjust per the size. So you don't need to worry about any uh, sizing, you just need to make sure it's square because this is a square image. And that way your images won't be stretched or anything like that as you build them. Next, we can click the tab here, or we can click the tab here. Super easy, click Next. And then we've got a splash screen. What the splash screen is, okay, is it's the loading screen. So as your members are going to the app, um, what page do you want them to see while it's loading? Okay, and you can upload your own image here from your computer and upload a splash image, okay, so a temporary image while it's loading the actual app. Next, this is the simple part. Okay, so this is actually quite easy. You can plug in, see how there's different tabs? Like there's tab, um, tab one, tab two, tab three, tab four. As I click these over here, I want you guys to look over here at the app. You'll see that this changed. See how this little blue bar right here changes? Watch this blue bar right here. As I click through these, it switches through. Okay, so what this is, is if if so this home utilities social and contact so under the home down below here okay this t this is actually set up this tab one is set up to go to this page okay utilities for this app is set up to go to this page social to this page contact to this page but on the contact okay so this contact one right here contact so as long as you're clicked on the tab four it says right here, it says target email, okay? So for like this, this taxi business, once a customer client fills out their information, okay, and they put their message, where would you like their information to be sent? So what you do is you just put the, the email address of, you know, whoever, you know, 
you put the email address of whoever you're building the app for, so that way the taxi service or taxi company will get notifications if someone filled out the form. Super simple to do. Um, you've got these other tabs here. You've got a calendar on this particular template, so so they could actually schedule, uh, you know, uh, pickups, or they could schedule, you know, they could use this this app to schedule their own what well, looks like their birthdays and you know different things like that. This is for the the customer to kind of schedule their day and, and whatnot. So it's kind of a cool little feature with inside the app. It's got a, a note feature. Now you can remove these fields too. Okay, so you can actually remove the page. So if I want to remove the notes page, okay, maybe I don't want that on my app. Maybe I don't want the calendar on my taxi app. You can just remove them. You can add a map, okay, to your taxi app. So you can actually add a, a you know, um, by just clicking right here, you can actually add a, add a, add a map, just like that, to the app. That's probably something that's needed right for a taxi business so they can know where to pick people up. <laughs> um, now, and also good for the client too to know where they are if they're in a city that they're not used, you know, used to. So it makes that more useful. Um, Facebook. So let's say this taxi company, you know, has a Facebook account. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Let's go to Facebook. Okay. Facebook, add a page. So let's say this, uh, taxi company has a Facebook fan page for the taxi business, they can go ahead and add their taxi uh, fan page down here. And that will also connect the Facebook uh, um, group or fan page of the taxi company in the app. So their clients can now like their fan page on, on Facebook. Also same for Twitter. And then if there's a YouTube channel for this taxi company, I don't know how many taxi companies have a, you know, a, a fan page or a, not a, or a, or a YouTube channel, um, but maybe if you were doing an application for like a a pizza company or something, you you might have a little YouTube video of how you know the dough is prepared and how the sauces and cheeses and stuff like that are thrown on the pizza. So this would be a, an awesome feature to add for that. But for taxi, I can't really think of you know what kind of video you would actually do for a taxi company. I guess you could you know uh, do a, a quick video for a taxi company on their service and. You know how quick they are and how they beat up the competitors. So a small commercial or something, maybe you could add the taxi commercial for that company in the app, which would be kind of cool. I mean, really, there's it's all about creativity. Um, if you can just plug and play and, and go through this thing, though, that you can actually, you know, create an app quite easily. Next, we'll go ahead and just select done, and then once we select done, um, go ahead and play around with some of these features over here on the right. Um, I'll have more tutorials on how to do, you know, more. Um, in-depth uh, editing I just wanted to keep this uh, super simple for you you know for you guys to go ahead and, and create an app really quick play around with it but there are some some um, some some uh, advanced um, edits that you can do to this application using you know HTML code um, and and and, uh, and all that good stuff and I don't want to get into it in this video but if you really want to make this uh, this app um, really nice you could go into the pages individually and you can do some crazy um, um, edits you know on the the actual CSS of the of the application and in and, and the HTML and, and all that good stuff so but for now we're just gonna go ahead and keep it super simple um, you can also as you as you see me go through and I created an app for uh, Android Let's say you wanted to go create an app for, you know, the same app you just wanted to use, you know, you wanted to create the same app for Apple or Kindle Fire, or, you know, or Kindle or, or any of your other devices. You don't have to go through and build your whole application over again. You can actually just click on this duplicate but button down here on the bottom. And when you click that, you can actually just choose the new uh, phone service that you want this app for and you can basically duplicate it. So no, you don't have to go in and build a brand new application for every single uh, style of of phone out there okay you can just duplicate your app um, but you will have to duplicate your app for each uh, phone service like Apple Android Kindle or iPad or a web web app um, so that that's a quick tutorial hopefully um, you know actually that was really quick that was a little bit longer but there's a, a tutorial that will kind of show you how to do everything 
your next step once you get your app done and it's you know set up the exact way that you know that you want your app the next thing that you want to do is you need to publish your app okay and the way you do that up here on the top right corner you'll click on publish